Hi, this is uh, an attempt at atmosphere with a, with a, a dark, sort of darkening e evening sky. <coughs> Just put a couple of buildings here. Uh, wet in wet, uh, uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt amber, paint grey, burnt sienna. Uh, two inch hake, it's Fabriana 130 pounds. Yesterday we treated ourselves to a piece of Saunders 200 pounds. I couldn't afford to demonstrate on Saunders considering the amount of paintings I've done. So the Fabriano is, is, is a great paper for wet in wet and as it dries it will take a good dry brush. So we'll, we'll leave a little bit of sparkle here and there. Not a lot. Okay, so let's get in some really good dark, dark yellow, well, raw sienna. Bit of, let's have a bit of, bit of um, raw sienna with that. So let's just roll over. Let's put a bit, a little bit of a pond there. And over that we'll put in a bit of light red and ultramarine. And quite dark sky coming in here. Okay, then we'll uh, just leave that a little bit. So, just uh, to dry for a little bit. See, there's little bits of sparkle. Right, uh, we'll let that go now. We won't do any more to that. So, that was quite a simple beginning. using four colours. So that's the ultramarine mixed with the light red. And you can see that it starts to separate. The, the beautiful colours for granulation. If it was wetter, oh, sorry, if it was more of, an, uh, of a, a, a shallower angle, it would settle out even more. Right, so uh, I want to dry that. So headphones off, or mute your volume now. So it's really trying to create an atmosphere in watercolour. You could get some really moody effects uh, in the sky. Uh, we'll put in some, some foreground now using loads of burnt sienna but with some Payne's grey mixed in with it as well. So we'll let's get some of that down here. Okay, and we'll put a bit of a bit of, bit of pond or a bit of landscape coming across here. Some rough, rough bits here. A bit of sienna. I will put in a bit of a, a background of uh, grey. All right, let's get some more dark, dark in there. So we'll just drag down a bit of a reflection in there. I'm going to put some trees behind this. And then we've got some really good, good darks in here. 
Prince Grey, mixed with a burnt sienna, give a nice warm dark. I love burnt sienna with with the uh, Payne's Grey. It's such a lovely contrast, light against dark. Let's just bring that down there. Let's just join that up a little bit. Okay, we can elaborate on that in a minute. Right, let's put in a bit of a background now. So, a bit of Payne's Grey, a bit of Ultramarine. Just a nice cool, cool distance. Give a bit of a margin there. Okay. Right. That will do. Let's uh, just reclip the paper. I was asked yesterday if I stretched my paper and the answer is no I don't. I used to years ago but if you buy a paper that is thick enough like Saunders or Archers, Buckingford, you don't need to stretch it. You, you can pin it out and just do what I do just as it as long as the board is slight is not that much bigger than the width of the paper, you can stretch it out using these strong clips. These I don't know what they're called. <coughs> but um, uh, the, the, this is the lightest I work on, 130 pounds, but you can see it stays per perfectly, well, more or less perfectly flat. Uh, and stuff like uh, 300 pound paper work, which you could do anything on that. So no, it's, it's, it's a labour of love really. Uh, it stops you getting on with the painting. And the whole lot of points of, of using the student quality quality paints, you see they're pretty intense. And the cheaper Fabriano is that it, it, it frees you up from counting the cost of every painting you do and muck up. We all muck up paintings. Right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the mop. i use my, my new goat hair mop. I'm using it more than the much more expensive French polishers mop. The number six is this is this is Renaissance Pro Art Mop Goat Hair Quality Goat Hair Wash Brush. It really is a nice brush. And what I'm going to do is just to to uh, put the outline of the, the trees. So burnt, not burnt. Uh, ultramarine and light red. Right. Give a nice sort of grey, grey look. I want in there. And this paper is quite tricky to do this on because it's uh, quite. Well, it's not rough, but it's not smooth either. And we can put in some darker tone in there. And some of these here, and a bit of more sienna, burnt sienna. Not sure that's going well, really. Probably should have done better with the hake. But anyway, uh, I'll elaborate on that in a minute. Let's go back into the uh, the greyer bits over the top here. Lovely brush. We go over the roof too much. Do some of that with the rigger. So this is just just a bit of distant tree. And put some in the. Well, uh, yeah, I'll just bring that down a little bit here. 
Right, okay, we'll let that go for a minute. I'm going to um, put, carefully put in the barn with those sky colours. So we've got burnt sienna and raw sienna. Bit of grey. I'm going to try and keep a margin here. There's my brush. But we're any detail in these, so I'm just going to uh, come down here. Bit of fun. So you get quite a nice point on this. Let's just put that in there like that. And be careful. Turn all the way along there. Uh, Sienna. Really do like this brush. detail I just want want the the dark shadowy stuff in here I can turn that roof down quite low well, okay so that that'll do that that's uh, that's got a little bit a bit, bit muddy, but uh, by the time I go in with the rigger, we can. Uh, I'll dry it off, and then I can crack on with it. All right, rigger. Oops. <coughs> so we want some paint grey and some. Burnt sienna. But no, I'll, just, I'll just do the background trees first. So, so these are grey. Oh, let's uh, put these on these, this, the horizon here. And I'll put some sort of ivy going up the uh, trunks. What a strong one, strong one there. Um, Really get lost with trees. You can keep doing them. I'll put some bushes in there as well, just to anchor the foreground a bit. I mean, anchor the trees to the to the landscape, to the ground they're actually growing out of. Right now, we'll do warmer. In here, coming up from from here. favourite mix again. Good thicky stuff here. Good, good, good to hold up a huge canopy of twigs, branches, ivy, all sorts of stuff growing up. Have another 
was a bonk in that one there. The rigot holds quite a bit of water. Get it with some some nice dark. Detail. I think I'll do that with the uh, with the hike. So just a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of a bit of grey. Oh, we'll just sort of just do this sort of. some that dodgy painting up there. Okay. I'll do the same with the grey and the other tree on the right. Now this is where you have to control the amount of Moisture in the brush. This is less distinct, a little more dry, lighter. Okay. All right. Got to do a little bit of dry brush up. Right, okay, I'll, I'll put in some uh, more trees when that's dry. Uh, let's go back with, on the right hand side, and just push in these. Bit too much water in there. for the onslaught at Christmas. We haven't finished yet. We've got 12 in for Christmas Day. And we always share it with my sister and her family. We always have done. Lovely time. And any waves and strays that we pick up on the way. For a minute, and this will go into there with some background trees in here. Up into that better canopy there. Okay, I think we're going to put a bit of texture in 
on this landscape here with the uh, with the rigger used on its side. And put some reflections in the, the water. more paint. Some bushes. These reflections, blues, bluey greys. There we are. We sort of have a have a painting. Oh, is that the side of brand? But. No birds. I think I might, I might mess with a couple of birds earlier in the week, didn't I? Right, let's uh, put the mount on. So I think the the light mount would be more appropriate. Put that on there like that. So it's a it's a Kent type of scene. Well, there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, mm, a bit superfluous there. Right, let's just carry you, take you out. Oh, there we are. So another scene bites the dust. Uh, these huge trees here against the, 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 the barns, the smaller trees behind in the distance. Plenty of uh, contrast. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.